this is Johnny Talks Toys. I'm Johnny, and today I got a Lego Marvel Super Heroes Ultimate Spider-Man set to review. It's an awesome set. Six to twelve is recommended. Ages seven six zero zero five is the set number. Spider-Man Daily Bugle Showdown is the name. It is four hundred and seventy-six pieces. You get five awesome minifigures as well, and you get a skyscraper, a plane, Dr. Doom's plane, a dumpster, just awesome features. So let's go straight to it and take a look at all the awesome details. And here's a look at the Ultimate Spider-Man. He is from the animated series. It plays on Disney XD. Very cool figure. There's a look at him. The, um, he's got like that beetle thing on the back. It doesn't look like a spider. It looks more like a beetle, but it's okay. It's still Spider-Man. He looks very cool. And here's a look at Dr. Doom. He is a villain in the set. Pretty cool minifigure though. He doesn't got any um, facial printing on the back, but he does have some on the front if you want to take a look at it. Very, very cool. And then he's got like his cloak that hooks up. He's got some torso printing and leg printing. And then if you lift his cape up in the back, there is some printing under there as well. But, I mean, he is, the printing is plain on him on the back, but the cape covers it. you got his cloak that covers his head. He's just a very, very cool minifigure. I really like the design on his torso and legs. And here's a look at J. John Jamison. He is an awesome-looking figure. He is Peter Parker's boss, or Spider-Man's boss at the Daily Bugle. Just, he's got an awesome suit on. Just a three-piece suit, and it looks cool. You got his belt there. He just looks awesome. Very cool. He does have a little bit of back printing. There's the collar and then a line. He does got double-sided facial printing as well. This is like in more like an uptight face like he is all the time in the films and stuff. Like he has probably high blood pressure from all his anger he has. And he does come with a camera because he is a news editor, so he always needs to take pictures. So he can take pictures. Just a very cool figure. I really like the looks of him. He looks amazing. And here's a look at Beetle. He is the other villain in this set. He looks very, very cool. I really like the looks of him. Awesome printing on the face as well as the torso. And as you can see here, his, I'm going to show you guys a close-up on these wings because they are very, very cool. If I can get them off, those wings look awesome. You can see right there, they're like a, they're like a, like, you can kind of see how it is. That's how it feels. I don't know how to explain it, but they're very cool. You got the design texture on them, and they move kind of when you move them up and down. And then there is some back printing as well. So, I mean, it's, it's nice to have back printing on this figure. That slides over it, and his head goes back on. He is a very cool figure, probably one of my favorites in the set. And here's a look at Nova. He looks very cool. He is Spider-Man's, like, Spider-Man's training um, them. He's, like, the leader of this squad. And he, the Nova is Peter Parker's age. And you can see he's got some awesome facial printing. He's got his goggles and an angry face, kind of similar to John, J. John Jameson's. Nova has got his um, powers where he can float by um, shooting red stuff out of his hand. So that's what those studs are for. And he's got some awesome torso and back printing. All around, very cool figure, and that helmet is amazing. And now let's take a look at Dr. Doom's plane. So Dr. Doom's cockpit is right there in there. You can seat him. You can seat him in there. Very cool. You've got lights right there. You've got some more lights there. We got some fire flick missiles right there. This is old school stuff. Now they're spring loaded, but this set is like a year old, I think. So that's old school. If this set would have been newer, they would have probably put um, the spring loaded missiles in. Right on the back here, we got our tail that goes up and down. Just like a cool little design back there. And then this is one of those planes that is a plane, so he can hover it down by putting the propellers down. And then when he wants to fly forward, he pushes them back. So he can fly forward, and then when he wants to land, they go down. That's for backwards. So it's just very cool. They're just little like jet engines with blades on them, so that he can Doctor Doom can fly around with them. And we got the two fire flick missiles there, and I can put Doctor Doom in there if you guys want to see him in the cockpit, so he can fly around in there. And then. 
there's a feature here so he's flying and hovering this pushes off and then JJ this is how we captured um, John Jameson he pushes that off comes down and then grabs him with it somehow he grabs him with it it's kind of, it doesn't really work it doesn't grab many figures but it is meant to grab J. John Jameson so that's what it's supposed to do and then it just relaxes up there so it's supposed to grab him but it doesn't but I mean it's a very cool little design it's a great helicopter to get in the set and now let's take a look at the Daily Bugle alright now let's take a look at the first floor right here we got our dumpster and it's just um, like a little accessory to have for playability and stuff you can put, um, I, I think you can lift it up on a dump truck with these, that's what those are for. And then this is the lid, so it's a cool little accessory to have. Looks pretty cool, just a nice little accessory. Again, these probably hook up to a garbage truck so they can dump it, and then this is the lid to open it up. So it's for all the Daily Bugle newspaper stuff, like all the scraps. So very cool. And then over here on the corner we got our little light post. Just a regular Lego light, and you can, it doesn't have to go there. I chose to put it there. You can put it wherever you want. Right here, we have a nice little opening foyer area right here for the doors to open and close, like a little covered area. It says the DBC, which stands for Daily Bugle Central, I think, or Daily, I think it's Daily Bugle Cent Central. Very cool. And um, you got your May bricks. You can kind of see all your May bricks scattered around. Right here is a side door out to the dumpster some reason I think it's supposed to he put the door in backwards I think it's supposed to go the other way let me fix that real quick he put the door on the front hinges and it was supposed to be on the back hinges I'll snap that in in a second but the green door goes right there and then your ladder comes down for um like on top buildings there's ladders to get up to the top so your ladder does come down so that is pretty awesome and then that's just like if you if you have garbage on the second floor and have to walk down to the dumpster you walk down this level etc for the third floor and the roof inside is plain we just got a little plant right here I am gonna probably add some stuff if my brother wants to we'll put some stuff in there I don't know I just think it's missing some stuff in there it, it looks very plain this is the foyer area right when you walk in I think I might add a desk or something right there, like an Arkham Asylum, and put like a figure there or something. Right here, we got our spider web, too. You can kind of see it up there for Spider-Man shot his web there. So the first floor looks amazing. Floor, this is, and on to the second floor of the Daily Bugle. We got a cool feature right here, the window blowout. I will show you how that feature works in a second. Right here, we got three windows, and then we got the pillar that goes up the middle to add some detail and make it look like an expensive city building so there is a look at your front you got all your panels and stuff looks pretty cool and then on the side here this comes down and then this comes we'll lift that up another door this one opens up and closes this one was built in properly you can open the door and go down to the dumpster if you want so very very cool all the detail on the bottom floor was on the outside inside and on the inside is this one very very cool we got our little safe I think it is a little drawer or safe there we got a newspaper here it says the Lego news I think it would have been awesome if it would have said the daily bugle I just wish it would have said daily bugle on it but that is okay it just clips on right there clip that on there we got our little swivel chair right there and then inside here, I'll just take this off. It's like a little drawing board for the artist. It's of Spider-Man, and you get some cool printed bricks. So I feel that you should have gotten the Daily Bugle because they customized all this. Right here, it says the true identity of Spider-Man. Over here is pictures of them. And then right there, it says cake list. Or it says cake list. And then it's just on these two little hinge bricks right here. You can just push them forward. It's it's kind of difficult to get it in, but it looks very cool. And then your swivel trail just your swivel chair just sticks there, right here. And then the artist can swivel back and forth. And then on the side we got Spider-Man's web here that he shot. And then we got some webs that he's crawling up the building with. You can hang Spider-Man there. 
if you want so it just looks very cool and on to the third floor right here we got J. John Jameson on the big screen up there it's like a TV and he is having a fit he's got his coffee and he's having a fit up there it says who is spider-man it says who is spider-man who is and then it's just like a like on the news there's those things that roll around the bottom of the screen and it says who's spider-man who's spider-man like all that stuff up here we got the DBC which stands for Daily Bugle Central and up here we got our windows that look awesome they look very good up there in the center side view we got our um, door to get down to the dumpster so very very cool this is J. John Jameson's office up here let me push the camera down a little bit so you guys can see a little better this is J. John Jameson's office let me push it down a little bit more so you guys can get a good look at it in here we got his desk and his computer his keyboard and another swivel chair looks like his office I think they could have added a plant or something and then the feature is the drop door so like Dr. Doom can like drop in right there but when we get to the roof I will show you the features in closer detail another side window there and then there's another view at the front and here is a look at the top of the roof right here we got a little satellite so they can get internet and stuff right here is a little cap we got our antenna up there so very cool side view is more playability and I will show you how the top plays out and then I'll show you the feature on the front you don't let me just stick. we'll set him down like that so Dr. Doom's waiting there spider-man's crawling up here this is the playability on the set Spider-Man crawls up there, and then Doctor Doom pushes him off like that. Spider-Man holds on to his web right there, and then Doctor Doom goes right inside um, J. John Jameson's office. So pretty scary stuff. And then right here is just a little feature that pushes the sign right off, the DBC sign. So the Daily Bugle sign. It just is a, just a little feature that pushes it off so very cool very detailed and that was your daily bugle showdown review amazing set sixty dollars you get a huge building five awesome superhero minifigures you get your awesome jet helicopter type plane it just is an amazing set i have a few complaints though there should be more detail in that bottom floor like the lobby of the building i'm going to add a desk in there or something and I think there should have been a Peter Parker minifigure included. Because, I mean, in the show, Peter Parker's always, like, in conflict with, like, the Bugle. Because, like, villains attack it. And then he has to run out of there and turn into Spider-Man. So a Peter Parker figure should have been included in the set. It would have made the set have Peter Parker in there. And I think it was missing some detail inside on the first floor. Other than that, it's a very cool set. My favorite minifigure... I'm torn between Firefly and J. John Jameson. They're just so cool. I like J. John Jameson. I like his suit. But Firefly is, has awesome graphics and awesome wings. So I think I'm torn between the two. But it's an amazing set. My 8-year-old brother built it. And I think he did a great job on it. He has some awesome stickers. He did great on the stickers. If you think he did a good job, thumb, give the video a thumbs up. Because, I mean, and this is hard for an 8-year-old. It's a big build. It took him a couple hours. He worked, sh like, 5 hours straight on his birthday on the set. So be sure to like it if you think he did a great job building it. So it's just an awesome, awesome set. And I think it's great. I'm, I should have bought it a couple years ago when it first came out. But I'm glad my brother was able to buy it and enjoy the build on it. It's just an awesome set. So leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think of this set. And this has been Johnny Talks Toys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next review.